If the motors fit in well, what will the next steps in cooperation with these customers be? You know. We do not set the goal to cooperate with these customers. Our goal is organizing mass production of these motors. And then? Who will buy them, how they will buy, all of this will be the matter of the relationship between the manufacturer and the consumer, to be honest. The manufacturer must sell the product at the reasonable price, provide warranties, servicing, maintenance, technical support, and everything else as expected. And we need to get it on the right track. In other words, for better understanding, Motor production is just one of the necessary parts of what we need to do to develop this area. Yes, absolutely. So, servicing should also be provided. Yes, it should. And we do not make it our mission to produce, because our company aims at something else, at development. Therefore, if we get involved in production now, there will be a conflict. Because the economy and labor management for the developer and the manufacturer are different, absolutely different. This means that our task is not to sell separate motors, but to sell the technology. And selling the technology does not mean that we wind the motor and then you study how it's done. Here is a coil, here is another one. The customer will say no, it won't do. First you should provide me with the documentation, technical specifications for the motor, manual, technical passport, test protocols, final reports, certificates. All of this must be fully registered. You should give me the production machinery and tooling, because a machine without tools is scrap metal. I want a well-established technology and trained people who can work with it and also show me that it is really implemented. This is a development, this is something that sells. And all of this should be geared to specific production volumes. Not like, this is what I did, it's a great motor, here you are. The customer will ask, why do I need it? I don't need it. And we have already observed that manufacturing one motor is one thing, but to develop the same motor to the level of certification is a far more labor-intensive process.